In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get zero ping in Fortnite in Chapter 5 Season 2 because the servers this season have been so laggy. I've been getting like 40 ping off spawn and not being able to win any fights. So this video is going to be showing you how you can get zero ping. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into your Fortnite settings and click the third option. Make sure you're playing on the right region then scroll all the way down and make sure both of these options are turned off. After this, go on to the end option and make sure that your text chat is also turned off. Doing these options will make sure that your internet has maximum performance and it's not trying to save any power while you're playing your game. The first thing we're going to be doing is going over to speedtest.net and we're going to be testing our internet speed and seeing our ping, download speed and upload speed so we can compare these results to the results at the end of the video to see if anything has changed. As you can see our download speed is 510 and our upload is 70 and our ping is 8. We're going to be comparing this to the, all the optimizations that we're going to be doing to our internet to the end of the video and see how much of a difference it's made. The first thing that we're going to be doing inside of Windows is going over to the search bar and typing in Control Panel. Then we're going to go to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. I'm going to click on Ethernet here, Properties, Internet Protocol Version 4, Properties, and then you're going to click Use the following DNS server addresses, and you're going to type in A A A A A A Four. Four. Then you're going to validate your settings upon exit, click OK, close out this, click cancel on here, and then you should be done. The first thing we're going to be doing is updating our internet drivers inside of Windows. If you don't know which internet driver you have, you can search for the device manager, go onto network adapters, and it should be the top one here. You see that mine's Intel. For any internet driver, it should be more or less the same to install it. So to do this, I'll leave links in the description for all the different internet drivers you can update. You're going to go into the page and you're going to download the 64x zip. As you can see, it's here. We're going to drag this onto our desktop and then we're going to extract the file onto our desktop. Now you've done this, you can see that the files have been extracted onto your desktop. Then you're going to click the wired driver option and you're going to install this onto your PC. This will automatically update the internet driver for you and this is the next step done. Now we're going to be searching for the command prompt and running this as an administrator and you're going to be typing in these three commands ipconfig space slash renew ipconfig space slash flush dns and ipconfig space slash resolve after you've typed all these three commands, you can close out of this and this will make your ping much lower in game. The next thing we're going to be doing is downloading TCP Optimizer. This optimizes your network for the best performance and you get zero ping in any game. It's a very simple and easy to use program so what we're going to be doing is clicking on TCP Optimizer 4 to start the download and dragging this onto your desktop. Now we're going to right click this and run it as an administrator and when this loads the first thing we're going to be doing is clicking in the bottom right on custom and dragging this bar to 100 plus megabytes per second. Now inside of the application we're going to make sure that our internet connection is selected, modify all network adapters has a tick in the box, MTU is set to 1500, TCP window auto tuning is set to normal. This option is disabled. This option is set to CTCP. These two options are enabled. Set the value to this box of 64. Make sure this option is disabled. This option is disabled. This option is also disabled. And so is this option. And you can leave this as it is. After this, you're gonna apply changes and click OK. It may ask you to reboot your computer, just click no because we'll be doing this after we've finished all the optimizations. After we've done this page of optimizations, we're going to navigate to advanced settings, 
and we're going to change all of the settings on here. Max connections per one underscore O server is going to be set to 10 and max connections per server is also going to be set to 10. Local priority is going to be set to 4, host priority is going to be set to 5, DNS priority 6 and net priority 7. Max SYN retransmissions is going to be set to 2 and non-SAC RTT resiliency is going to be set to disabled. Initial RTO is going to be set to 2000 and minimum RTO can stay on 300. QoS non-best effort limit is going to be set to 0 and QoS do not use NLA is going to be set to optimal 1. Network throttling index is going to be set to disabled FFFFF and system responsiveness is going to be set to gaming 0. TCP ACK frequency is going to be set to disabled 1. TCP no delay is going to be set to enabled 1 and TCP Dell ACK tricks is going to be set to disabled 0. Large system cache is going to be set to default 0 and size is going to be set to default 1. Max user port is going to be set to 65531 and TCP timed wait delay is going to be set to 30. After you've done this you're going to apply the changes, click OK and it's going to ask you to reboot your PC, just click no because we're going to be doing this later on. After you've done this you can close out of TCP Optimizer because you're done with this program now. Now we're going to be searching up network connections and clicking view network connections. Find your either ethernet or wireless connection, right click this, click properties, then we're going to click the configure button, go to advanced and this is the page where you're going to be disabling and enabling some settings. So the first thing you're going to look for is energy efficient ethernet and make sure this is turned off. Next make sure you find flow control and make sure this is on auto negotiation. Next you're going to scroll down until you can find speed and duplex and make sure this is on auto negotiation. Make sure you're not putting on any of these because this can actually mess up your internet and make it slower and give you higher ping while playing games. Then you're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom and you see all these wake on and wake from magic packet settings. You're gonna turn all of these onto disabled. After doing this, you're gonna go into power management and make sure both of these options are unticked. After this, click OK, exit out of this, and that should be done. Now we're going to be clicking Windows R and typing in gpedit.msc. Once you're inside of here, you're going to click the drop down on Computer Configuration, go to Administrative Templates, then click Networks, and you're going to find QoS Packet Scheduler. Now we're going to open this folder and we're going to go into the limit reservable bandwidth by double clicking on here. Now we're in here, we're going to click enabled and we're going to set the bandwidth limit to 0%. This is all you need to do in here, so click apply, ok and then we can exit out of this. After completing all these steps, your ping in game and download speed should be much higher than before and your ping should be much lower than before. If this video did help you please subscribe and leave a like and thanks for watching.